how did we get started in marriage enrichment? <laughs> I had no idea what marriage enrichment was um, until Fiona sort of said, hey, Barry and Paula have invited us to this weekend. and Very tentatively. Yeah. <laughs> um, would you like to come along? Should we go? Yeah. And I said, okay, sure. I'm not sure what this is, but willing to dive in. And um, I think uh, looking back on it, it's the best thing that we ever mm -hmm. did for our marriage. Yeah. We were never in trouble. You know what I mean? Like we were never in trouble. We weren't not on the rocks. Way. Yeah. No, but yeah. you said it the best. I think um, you said apathy is the biggest threat to our marriage. Yeah. And I never realised it before we started doing this, yeah. this work. And it's so true. We could have, mm. I think, lived day by day, month by month, year by year, just living side by side. Yes. Raising children. Being flatmates. Yeah, being flatmates. Mm. Oh, that used to get to me when you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was really true that it was, we never fought yeah. about things. We just didn't fight about things. And I always thought that was healthy, that we must have a really good marriage if we didn't fight because, yeah. you know, fighting's bad. But through um, the work we've done with Barry and Paula, it's mm. really realised that um, I suppose they've equipped us to, do that in a healthy way mm. so that we can um, not just get stuck in the conflict but really see each other and and what's causing that conflict for each other. And It's a scaffolding. Yeah. I think for as, as parents of four, four kids, we started the marriage enrichment journey when they were really little mm. and it was such a temptation to say we can't do this because our life is too full. And for me, that was actually fear. I didn't want to start something that I couldn't put a lid on. And it really has set us up not just to be really great together, but to be really great parents and to have a yeah. generational effect. And when Mike said that I suggested it, it was a suggestion that I was hoping he would say no to. <laughs> um, so when he jumped on board and dragged me along, there was a lot of fear and trepidation and, and I did everything I could to try not to go with the process. But I really thank God that, uh, well, he had better plans. And, I, and Barry and Paula, they, they saw something in us that, that needed to be invested in. And I think that that was such a gift from God for us. And we're excited to, to see other, other partners and other families be really influenced by this and just to see a, a change in the way that people view marriage because um, we know that there's been gold in it for us. Yeah, and I think as well, um, that, that first time we did some, some marriage enrichment work, there were some, some things that we had to unpack and there were some things that we discovered that we didn't know. <laughs> some was, things. <laughs> <laughs> that we didn't know was there in our marriage. But the, the coming out the other side of that, the richness we got from it, we haven't been able to stop yeah. since. You know, it's been four, has it been four years roughly? Oh, longer. It's longer been about than six that? Years. Six yeah. years since we started. And I thought we were going to go into that first weekend, that first session as a one-off thing to do a bit of work and that was good and now we'll have a good marriage. But it just, it, it awakened a, a hunger in both mm. of us, I think, to continue to do this and and we would take away tools and strategies from when we've done something and we could work on it, uh, you know, in our day-to-day, -day, in our in our week-to-week. -week. We learned to be intentional um, for our marriage with yeah. each other, We not just to get distracted by work and children. Um, but it's been great to come back to stuff as well, to do a, another session or another group or whatever it might be, just to remind ourselves where we might have fallen down a bit and what we might need to work on. And every time I think we come out of it stronger and more connected and yep. ex or hungrier to do more and more of it. And, and we like each other more. We do. It's so. great. And I think it's something that we're going to do. I can't imagine us ever not doing this now. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I think this is going to be a lifelong yeah. journey for us, but it's an exciting thing to... Well, it's marriage. It should be a lifelong yeah, journey. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, and I just couldn't be excited, more excited to share this gift with other couples. And I just want everyone that's in mm. a marriage in any relationship to experience some of this because you can only come out of it stronger. You yeah. can only come out of it more excited to mm. keep doing this marriage journey together. Yeah. I think you've said it all. Wow. You value what you do. Um, and I think that we have shown that putting value in a marriage has just paid off in dividends. Mm. So we're very thankful for it. Absolutely.